Hi guys and girls. So today I'm going to review this plate here. It's a CJS Clear Jelly Stamper uh, V13 and I just am loving it. It's beautiful. Um, and it came with this card. Okay, the card's upside down. So it came in this plastic sleeve. You just undo one end of it. And then there's this, they put in, started putting in these new cards, which are awesome. At least most of them come with these, uh, maybe eventually all of them. Um, and so it shows you, at least gives you an idea what they're supposed to look like and some color ideas. So, <clears throat> and then it had a plastic uh, blue film on it. And then here is the plate. <clears throat> Gorgeous. So to start out, um, I'll show you, I did a couple samples. Um, and so this, we're going to do this one here. Um, and we're going to do that one there. Um, and this one has two layers. This is a single layer. So it goes on this plate, these images go between uh, single layers, some of them are, and then mostly it's one or two layers, and there's a couple on here that are three layers, and um, we'll talk about that a little bit. So right now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with, um, we're using this one, and this one is two layers. So the first layer is this right here, so blank space, and we'll do that, and then we're going to do this over it, and I just love this. It's beautiful. It's like antique doilies. It's lace, but they're just gorgeous. Anyway, we're going to do that. And <clears throat> I love it in the soft colors, but, um, and I'm going to try to keep it as close to soft colors as I can, but so that you can see it, I'm going to use, you know, some, hopefully some colors that will show up better. So this is like a super, super soft powdery pink, um, by, as you can see, BMC, now, um, Maniology, formerly BMC, Bundle Monster. So that's the stamping polishes I'll be using today. And then I'm going to use some Kiss Gel Strong um, to show you a sample. Um, we'll talk about that in a while. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this. And I'll put all the names of everything in the information box of everything that I'm using on these sample nails. Um, and oh, and I'm using my big uh, clear... Big Bling Clear Jelly Stamper, my favorite one. <laughs> I still haven't used my new one yet. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> anyway, so we'll swipe it to the side and let me see. And then just don't get in too big of a hurry or you'll end up with pieces missing that you don't want missing. And I'm gonna put this on the diagonal also. Okay, come here. I can't pick this thing up when it's on my mat, the silicone mat, it like grabs to it. So anyway, um, and it looks like there's a teeny little void in the center when I picked it up. It wasn't but until I picked it up, but that's okay. I just swiped it with a little bit. Um, so there, see it's missing a little bit. doesn't matter though, because we're going to turn it on a diagonal and we're going to put this on a diagonal. So like that probably. So here's our nail. I've already put some blue on it and we're just going to, okay, let me line this up first and figure out where I want to do this at. Okay, we're going to do it like this. So I'm not using this whole thing. I'm just going to use it so it, so the doily goes like on the diagonal. Okay, so I'm going to do it like that, like that, and I'm going to turn it around and hopefully I won't mess it up and show you. Okay, and then just kind of carefully pat down anything that might be, you know, curled up. Okay, I didn't get it perfectly straight because I, you know, I'm trying to do a little different. But if you were looking at it yourself, I'm sure you would line this up right in the center. You would want this right in the center. Okay, anyway, so that's, let me clear off, clean off with my lint roller, the gel, clear jelly sample. And then... I'm going to use this so hopefully you'll be able to see it, but it's um, like a black cherry color. And we're going to put that for our second layer. So for the real intricate lacy part. Um, and I'm going to turn it because I'm not using, you know, like I said, I'm not using the whole, I'm not using the square. I'm using it, you know, like a triangle. So on the diagonal. So just swipe. And we're going to roll. Um, and I started out when I was doing some of the samples, I was going to use Born Pretty, which is one of my favorite stamping polishes as well as the Maniology. There you go. Pretty. But I found that with this particular plate, I guess because of, you know, that it is 
you know, such intricate lace that it looks better or at least the lines are finer if you use a thinner polish on this particular plate. So I know it's not straight, but it is with this. It's lined up with the image. So, all right, let me show you my sample one that I was actually looking at the right direction. See, to prove it. <laughs> anyway, still really pretty. Um, yeah, it's still pretty. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so there's that one there, and I'm going to put that down there. And then, uh, anyway, so the thinner polishes, the maniology, and then even I found the Kiss Gel Strong worked pretty good. But we're going to do another one, image on here, and I'll show you. We're going to do this one right here. It's already kind of like a triangle, and, it, and this is one of the ones. These ones along here are just one, one layer. But we're going to do this one here. And we're going to do this one in silver. So, um, like I said, I'm going to go with the thinner. Um, the Born Pretty works great, except that I think it's a little thicker, and I think it's a little heavier in pigment. So for this particular type of image, you know, with a really tiny lace, um, I just think you get to see more of the intricacy, because the lines are a little thinner when you use the thinner polish. Um, as opposed to the when you use the thicker it oops is you know the lines are a little thicker so anyway so that's that and we're going to go ahead and get that on here so it doesn't dry too fast hopefully so we can get it all on here and so there we go um so that's i love this image too oh I don't know. I'm having a hard time running through these. Keep the point in the center. But anyway, you get the idea, right? <laughs> I hope. Okay, so there's that one. And then we're going to do a, one more off of here. Um, and this one we're going to do in, um, you know, Maniology's White, BMC White. And we're going to do this one right here. And I think it's a beautiful one, too. Really pretty. So we're going to do that one right now in white, and I already have my nail is also in light pink. So we're just going to do this one. Okay, swipe. Clean off your stamper really quick. Roll. Okay, and there it is. Okay, and then we're just going to put this See if I can line this up and turn it around and hopefully you can see it. Did I get that one lined up in the center? It looks like it's pretty much in the center of this one. Um, and you know, your nails aren't going to have wings on them up here like this, aren't going to be that shape up here. So, you know, that wouldn't be not covered. but. Um, anyway, I think that one's really pretty too. So there's some of our, you know, images done on here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move these out of the way a second. And I also want to show you one other one, a little sample one I already did. This one I used, the Kiss, you know, the Kiss Gel Strong. And it's just regular polish, Dollar Tree. And it worked pretty good. And it is thin. And I didn't have a problem picking up on the blank space either. So, you know, and it keep and it is a little softer because it doesn't have the, as much pigments as, you know, the stamping polishes. So just, you know, FYI, um, there's that one. And then I wanted to show you, these were the rest of the images that's on there uh, on the stamping plate. So there's this here. And I used... Um, uh, Maniology's super pale pink on the, you know, first layer, blank space, and then this gray is from the gel Kiss Gel Strong. So pretty good, huh? There's a pretty heart. There are used some silver metallic on one of the layers on that. These hearts are two layers. This is a soft pink, um, and then I did these two. This is one image that's on here, and it's two layers. 
and I did this one in the chocolate brown first, and then I did white on top of it, and this one I did, um, you know, the, okay, let me look at it a second. I did a, actually kiss gel strong, kind of a taupe, a, you know, a soft taupe, and then I, on first, and then I did the milk chocolate over it, and I actually like this one better. And then it's got a beautiful lacy butterfly on here too. There's a big one, and uh, I'll show you. There's also a little one on here somewhere. Here's a little lacy doodah, um, and this is really pretty. This one is one of them that has three layers. So there's actually a light pink, dusty rose, and this silver. Um, and then this one's pretty for just a simple, and it's two layers. There's just a, one little flower, that, and I did it in pink, and then I did that black cherry over it. That would be pretty. Here's a lacy little dragonfly. And I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like a lacy collar, but um, either way, it would be pretty. And then here's the one layers. One layer. You saw that one already. We did that one. We did that one. We did that one. Um, and here's the full image. Uh, on the full image, I did it first with the dark color first, and then the light color over it. And as you can see, it's not perfectly lined up. The second time I did it in the light first, and then I did the dark over it and lined it up and much prettier. So, um, and then there's this one here is pretty also, I think. This says, ooh la la, real pretty, soft writing. Um, and here's another part, it's two layers. Never mind these, this was on my last Manny. Uh, I did a tutorial on that. Um, was the tropical spring one. But anyway, so this is another one of them uh, that has the three layers. And this one's got yellow, gold, and silver um, on it. And then this is another, uh, some more words, real pretty. Um, it's, uh, I think it says love, yeah, love and lace. And then this is a pretty, you know, little lacy thing. Um, here's another lacy, pretty lacy thing you can do across your nail or whatever. Here's another one. And um, I think, is that it? And then here's the, the pretty little butterfly. And here's another pretty heart. And I love this lacy umbrella. I love that. So that one's really pretty too. Here's another one. And this one I did with the Born Pretty Silver. And it's pretty. But it's a little heavy. The silver is a little heavy. It's a little hard to tell the, you know, the see the intricacy, the lacy flowers that are over that kind of a muted, you know, orchid. So anyway, I think that's it. And um, this is one of the gel strong, you know, colors I use, and I also used the gray. Um, and then on this sample nail here, I used kind of a peachy on the bottom and a raspberry pink on the top and that's these colors here so like I said Dollar Tree but I also love you know the maniology too are awesome these are one of my favorites and born pretty but for this plate the thinner stamping polish I think uh, works better so anyway uh, please like and subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you'll get a notice on my next new tutorial uh, this one was CJS V13, and I've got three more of these large um, plates to review, um, which I will be doing really soon, as soon as I can. Um, so thank you so much. Um, bye, guys and girls.